Welcome to the ultimate drone test flight. Today, we're taking to the skies to relive the thrill of flying around. Inspect the propellers. Make sure all propellers are securely attached and free from damage. Check the motors. Ensure the motors are firmly in place and spin freely without any obstructions. Tighten screws. Go over all the screws on the drone's body and arms. Tighten any that might be loose. Camera and gimbal. If your drone has a camera, check that it's securely mounted and the gimbal is functioning correctly. Remote control. Ensure the remote control is fully charged and all buttons and joysticks are responsive. Our trusty drone is ready for action. Let's see what it can do. Oh, it needs horizontal and vertical calibration services. Horizontal calibration, access calibration settings, turn on your drone and remote control. Navigate to the calibration settings in your drone's app or control interface. Start calibration. Select the horizontal calibration option. Follow the on-screen instructions, which usually involve keeping the drone still while it calibrates. Confirm calibration. Once the process is complete, the app should confirm that the calibration was successful. Vertical calibration, access calibration settings. Again, turn on your drone and remote control. Navigate to the vertical calibration settings. Start calibration. Select the vertical calibration option. This often involves rotating the drone in specific directions as instructed by the app. Confirm calibration. The app will notify you once the calibration is complete. Final checks, compass calibration. Sometimes, compass calibration is also necessary. Follow the app's instructions to complete this step. Test flight, after calibration, perform a short test flight to ensure everything is functioning correctly. up and away. There's nothing quite like the feeling of soaring above the world. Look at that view. The mountains looks even more beautiful from up here. sounds like a successful test flight. Touching down smoothly over your hands is always a satisfying way to end a flight. Testing is crucial to ensure everything is working perfectly before any big adventures.
Common causes and fixes for motor beeping errors. Battery issues. Check battery level. Ensure the battery is fully charged. Reconnect battery. Sometimes disconnecting and reconnecting the battery can resolve the issue. Motor connections. Inspect motor wires. Check if all motor wires are securely connected. Look for damage. Ensure there are no visible damages to the wires or connectors. ESC electronic speed controller issues. ESC calibration. Some drones require ESC calibration. Follow your drone's manual for specific instructions. Firmware update. Ensure your drone's firmware is up to date as updates can fix ESC-related issues. Propeller problems. Check propeller installation. Make sure propellers are installed correctly and not too tight or too loose. Replace damaged propellers. If any propellers are damaged, replace them. Compass and IMU calibration. Recalibrate compass and IMU. Sometimes recalibrating these sensors can resolve motor errors. Environmental interference. Move to a different location. Try moving to an area with less magnetic interference. Steps to follow. Turn off the drone and remote control. Inspect and secure all connections. Recalibrate the ESC, compass, and IMU if needed. Update the firmware if there's an available update. Restart the drone and remote control. If the error persists after these steps, it might be a good idea to consult the drone's manual or contact customer support for further assistance. Test flight steps. Power on. Turn on the drone and remote control. Initial hover. Lift off and hover at a low altitude to check stability. Basic maneuvers. Perform simple movements forward, backward, left, right to ensure all controls are responsive. Check sensors. Test any additional sensors or features, for example, obstacle avoidance. In flight testing instructions, hover stability. Action. Keep the drone hovering at a low altitude about 1 to 2 meters. Check. Observe if the drone maintains a stable hover without drifting. Basic maneuvers. Action. Move the drone forward, backward, left, and right. Check. Ensure the drone responds smoothly and accurately to control inputs. Altitude control. Action. Gradually ascend and descend. Check. Verify that the drone maintains a steady climb and descent without sudden drops or rises. Your rotation action, rotate the drone clockwise and counterclockwise yaw. Check, confirm that the drone rotates smoothly and maintains its position without drifting. GPS lock if applicable, action, enable GPS mode and hover. Check, ensure the drone holds its position accurately using GPS. Obstacle avoidance if applicable, action, slowly approach an obstacle. Check, verify that the drone detects the obstacle and avoids it. Return to home RTH function, action, activate the return to home function. Check, ensure the drone returns to the takeoff point and lands safely. Camera and gimbal test, action, use the camera to take photos and record video. Check, ensure the camera and gimbal are functioning correctly, providing clear and stable footage. Battery monitoring, action, keep an eye on the battery level during the flight. Check, ensure you have enough battery for a safe return and landing. Practice a smooth landing to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Post-flight check. Review performance. Note any issues or irregularities during the flight. Inspect drone. Check for any loose parts or damage after landing. 
Once everything checks out, you'll be ready for more adventurous flights. Battery replacement instructions, power down. Ensure the drone is completely powered off before removing the battery. Remove old battery. Carefully disconnect and remove the old battery from the drone. Inspect the battery for any signs of damage or swelling. If damaged, dispose of it properly. Inspect battery compartment. Check the battery compartment for any debris or damage. Clean the compartment if necessary. Insert new battery. Insert the new, fully charged battery into the compartment. Ensure it is securely connected and locked in place. Power on, turn on the drone and remote control. Wait for the drone to initialize and confirm that the battery is properly recognized. Second test flight instructions, initial hover. Lift off and hover at a low altitude about one to two meters. Observe the drone for stability and responsiveness. Basic maneuvers. Move the drone forward, backward, left and right. Ascend and descend slowly. Rotate the drone yaw to check for smooth control. Sensor check. Test any additional sensors. For example, obstacle avoidance by moving the drone near objects. Ensure sensors respond correctly and avoid obstacles. Return to home RTH function. Activate the return to home function. Ensure the drone returns to the takeoff point and lands safely. Battery monitoring. Keep an eye on the battery level during the flight. Ensure you have enough battery for a safe return and landing. Stronger airspeed can definitely affect your drone's stability. Here are some steps you can take to improve stability in windy conditions. Adjust light settings, reduce speed, fly at a lower speed to maintain better control. Avoid sudden movements and use smooth, gradual inputs on the controls. Enable stability modes. Use any available stability or GPS modes on your drone to help maintain position and altitude. Check weight distribution, balance the load. Ensure the weight is evenly distributed across the drone's frame. Adjust the placement of the battery and any payload to achieve a balanced center of gravity. Motor and propeller adjustments inspect propellers. Make sure all propellers are in good condition and properly attached. Consider using propellers designed for better stability in windy conditions. Motor speed control. Ensure the motors are functioning correctly and can adjust speed accurately to counteract wind forces 3. Environmental considerations. Choose the right time. Fly during times when wind speeds are lower, such as early morning or late afternoon. Avoid flying in gusty or turbulent conditions. 4. Find sheltered areas. Fly in areas with natural windbreaks like trees or buildings to reduce wind impact. Calibration and maintenance, recalibrate sensors. Perform a fresh calibration of the compass, IMU, and other sensors to ensure accurate readings. Regular maintenance, keep your drone well-maintained, checking for any wear and tear that could affect stability. Practice and experience, gradual exposure. Start flying in mild wind conditions and gradually increase as you become more comfortable. Practice smooth and controlled maneuvers to improve your handling skills in windy conditions one. By following these steps, you should be able to improve your drone's stability even in stronger winds. Stay safe and enjoy your flights. Ready to capture stunning aerial views and explore new heights? Take your drone out for an adventure today. Share your breathtaking photos and videos with us, and let's inspire others to see the world from a whole new perspective. Happy flying! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting drone adventures and tips. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share your experiences and amazing shots in the comments below. Let's keep the skies buzzing with creativity and exploration. Feel free to tweak it to match your channel style. Happy flying and happy filming. Okay.